Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel. This is Annapurna and today I will be explaining about chemistry and its applications in our day to day lives. So children, what is chemistry? Now chemistry is the study of matter. In chemistry, we study about the composition of matter, the structure of matter, the properties of matter and the reactions of matter. Now children, what is matter? Anything which has mass and occupies some space is said to be matter. Now whatever you see around yourself is matter. Whatever is present in this nature is matter. Whatever is present in this universe is matter because it has some mass and occupies space. Now children, matter is divided into three types first is the solid state liquid state and the gaseous state solids are hard to touch liquids are free flowing and the gases diffuse and spread to any extent now children what is this matter made up of matter is composed of atoms and molecules. Now it is the combining power of these atoms with the same atoms or different atoms to form molecules and thereby different compounds or mixtures. Now this is the science of chemicals which has led to the development of chemistry to a great extent in today's world. And we apply this science of chemicals in our lives to make our lives more easier, more better and more comfortable. So children, today let's see how chemistry is being applied to our lives to make our life easier. Now, from the start of your day till the end of the day, you use the power of chemistry, the science of chemicals. How is it? In the morning when you get up, you brush your teeth. Now without a toothpaste, again this is, this would be hardly possible. This toothpaste is again a combination of chemical compounds. Now when you have a bath, you need a soap which is again a chemical compound. You need a shower gel or a shampoo, which is again combination of chemicals. Now, to wash your clothes, you need detergent, which is again a chemical compound that helps to remove dirt from our clothes. Now, any beauty products that you use, anything it may be, the perfume, the cosmetics, body lotion, moisturizer are all chemical compounds. Again, now when you get ready to go to school, you put on your uniforms, which is again the clothing fabrics. Again, it's a product of chemical reaction. The spandex, the polyester, the rayon are all the product of chemical reaction. Again, when you go to school, you may need the help of a car, a bus or a bicycle. The tires, the tubes or the wheels of transport vehicles again is a product of chemical reaction. Again the petrol which is a fuel for our vehicles is petrol is a chemical compound. Now again when you have your food, even food is also a form of a chemical. Let's take for example an apple. Apple has malic acid in it. Oranges or the citrus fruits have citric acid in it. Or the tea which all the adults, almost all adults have nowadays has tannic acid in it. Now children, so you can understand the science of chemicals, how it is applied in our lives. Again, when you come from school, you go to the playground to play any games or sports. The football or the tennis racket or the badminton racket which has the nylon fibers in it. It's again a product of chemical reaction. 
now at night when you go to bed you use the mosquito repellent which is again the combination of chemical compounds so here you can understand how we use the power of chemistry the science of chemicals to improve our lives to make our lives more better more comfortable so again one many examples are there like the dish cleaner the floor cleaner or the medicines that you use which save our lives anything it may be are all combination of chemicals chemical compounds so children here you can understand now what is chemistry and its application in our day to day lives so i hope you have understood chemistry study of matter and the science of chemicals so share comment and subscribe to the channel for more such videos bye bye take care and remember the science of chemicals is chemistry